Okay, this is going to be mini system test 2 of the NFS2640. The reason why I wanted to make a mini system was because I finally got verifier tools. So I was able to program these sounder bases for general alarm. So what that means is that when I pull a pool station or any of the smoke detectors activate, both of the sounder bases will sound. Not like before where only if that sounder base activates, I mean that smoke activates only that sounder base will activate. Nope, I have them programmed, so if any point gets activated, both of them sound. Um, other than that, nothing has really changed, except this might be the last test of the NFS2640. The reason why is because I've been starting to become a fan of Simplex, and I've been really looking at the 4100U. Yes, I know it's proprietary. I know my ways of programming it. I have my ways. Um, but yeah, I really like the 4100U. I like the modularity and I really like I just really like it compared to the NFS2640 because the DVC for 640 is kind of expensive and the 640 have been getting kind of basic for me to be honest I might get a 3030 if this sells but we'll see so anyways I guess we'll start with the system test by pulling one of these pool stations and I know they say silent night these are silent night pool stations Pull stations on flash scan you can see I'm pulling um, the reason why I have them is because all my other notifier stuff is on the main system right now so anyways let me put my earplugs on and we'll pull this one okay so as you heard these sounder bases are on March time. Yes, because these aren't traditional uh, conventional horns. They're addressable horn, horn, I mean sounder bases. You could code them to March time since they're not being coded by the NAC. As you can see, the NAC is still on. Um, yeah, they're not being coded by the NAC. They're being coded, um, they're being coded by um, the actual um, internal buzzer or internal sounder. So that's why you could... Um, do March time because it's being coded by not the NAC. So anyways, we could do the other pool station and then we'll do uh, that one right there. So push in, pull down. Okay, so now let's magnet test this one. Let's finally do this one, and then I think that I'll call it a video. Okay, so that was um, all the devices, so I guess we could reset them now. Let's see, where is our SK key? I don't have my cyanide key somewhere in here. I have so many keys, well not a lot, but just, just hard to find when I don't have a... Uh... Okay, here's our 1347 key for um, silent night. So I'll just open it and Let's see if I can do it with one hand. And we do have, we do not have labels set. Uh, see, as you can see, it said module, loop one, module one. Nothing has been set. So if we go to main menu and multiple event list, 
we can see uh like if I scroll through the alarms, nothing has been changed. It's just everything has been defaulted. So we could go into the events count display, and then we could system reset. So now that we acknowledge that, everything is back to normal. The only trouble is system initialization because with Notifier, when you reset the system, it goes into a system initialization where it reinitializes everything and reinitializes the SLC. So once this goes back to normal, I guess we could call this a video. So I'll wait for this to go to normal. And it's back to normal, so we could go into our main menu and we could go to our graphic screen. So this was a system test of the Notifier NFS2640. This possibly, possibly will be the last system test, but I hope you guys liked it and goodbye.